Since I recorded this video a few months ago, the mortgage market has changed dramatically. Would you say it's time for everyone to panic? For the better. But a lot of what's been happening, you just don't see talked about in the mainstream media. So in this video, I'm going to share three things that you need to know and three things that you can do as a result. The first thing you need to know is that things were never quite as bad as they seemed. All right, they were pretty bad and they're still not great now. But the line in the press was that average mortgage rates were at 6%. Actually, while that's technically true, the average was pulled up by smaller lenders effectively not wanting to do business at all. Why are you closed? Tell us why you're closed! There was so much uncertainty in the market and there were so many people panicking and trying to go and renegotiate their mortgages really quickly that lenders just got swamped and many of the smaller lenders effectively set really high rates to avoid doing business because they just didn't want any more. As a result, their higher rates pulled the average above 6%. But as this chart shows, it's always been possible, even at the absolute peak of the madness last year, to get a mortgage for less than 6%. But even so, just under 6% is still really high. So the second thing you need to know is that rates have been falling consistently ever since. Every single week for the last couple of months, the average mortgage rate has been falling across all durations of FIC. So two years, three years, five years, 10 years, all of them falling every week. Sometimes just by a little bit, but the pattern is always downwards. Because as I explained in the previous video, fixed rate mortgages are priced off future expectations. And the future expectation for the base rate was really high. That expectation has come down even as the reality has inched up. And therefore, even when the Bank of England put up the base rate again, which they're very likely to do, unless they put it up by a far greater amount than expected and make everyone adjust all their future expectations again, mortgage rates should still continue to fall. And there's a lot of repricing going on. Something that we've seen since September is that the average length of time that a mortgage product stays on the market is 15 days, which is very short compared to the norm. And at first, that was because so much was changing, rates were going up and they were pulling products off the market so they could price them upwards or change their criteria. Now products are getting pulled all the time because they're revising prices downwards. So the average shelf life is still really short, but this time it's for the opposite reason. And the third thing that's happened is that far more mortgage products have come back onto the market again. So on the day of the mini budget that kicked all this off, there were just under 4,000 different residential mortgage products on the market. Five days later, that had fallen to about 2,600. And today, according to Money Facts, there are more than 3,600. So not quite back to the choice that we had in September, but not far off at all. This is positive for two reasons. Firstly, it means that if you've got circumstances that are a bit more specialist, you're far more likely to be able to find a product that suits your needs. And the second reason is it just shows that lenders want to do business again. There was a time when they really frankly didn't, but now they clearly do and they're feeling pretty confident. Indeed, there's a quote in an article from Bloomberg that says, the body language of lenders is that they clearly don't expect interest rates to rise much further and want to build their loan books at these levels. Okay, so what can you do with this information? Well, the first thing is when I last did one of these videos, my message was don't fix. Don't fix your rate now because mortgages are going to get more competitive. And of course that is what's happened. So should you fix now? Well, it's certainly a better option than it was because fixed rates have come down, but they're still pretty high. They're still priced at quite a premium compared to where you'd expect them to be based on where interest rates are today and where they seem likely to go. So I'd say that there's still a lot to be said for keeping flexibility if you can. Personally, I'd still be going for variable rates at the moment because it keeps my options open and I think pricing will come down. But if you can fix at a price that works for you and you just want that certainty, it's certainly a more appealing option than it was a few months ago. The second thing to consider is if you do want to fix, you might want to look at fixing for a longer period of time because at the moment, borrowing for five years or 10 years is cheaper than borrowing for two years or three years. That's not normally the case. It shouldn't be that way around. It should be the case that it costs you more to borrow money for longer periods of time. But the market's weird at the moment. And so if you actually want to have that stability for longer, then take advantage of that. You get to lock in a lower rate for a longer period of time. Of course, there are reasons to go shorter as well. You might want the flexibility. You might want to potentially pull more money out in a couple of years time if you've added value or you think the market's going to go up. So you've got to make a decision based on all the factors, but all else being equal, longer fixes are looking more attractive right now. 
And thirdly, the most important thing is if you were in the mortgage market towards the end of last year and you found it a pretty depressing experience, either you couldn't find a mortgage or the rates that you were being quoted were just horrendous, do go back again. Don't be put off by what happened before because it really is a very different situation now. In fact, I'd even say there's an opportunity right now because sentiment in the property market in general is so bad, people's feelings and beliefs about mortgages and the rates they can get are just awful because of what we've been through over the last few months. And that means that there's an opportunity now to go and make moves when there's far less competition than there usually is. I don't know how long this is going to last for. We believe that the first quarter of this year is going to be the worst in terms of sentiment. Second quarter will improve a little bit and then the second half of the year will really kick on. So it's not like you have to go and do something right now. You don't even have to do anything at all if it doesn't suit you. I'm just saying that there is an opportunity there potentially if you want to take advantage of it because you've got this information about what the reality of the market is when others may still be operating on beliefs that are a couple of months outdated. And a couple of months in the world of mortgages at the moment is a very long time. And speaking of opportunities, uncertain markets always create options that weren't there before. And there's something that we spotted that we've been taking advantage of for the last couple of months that you can as well if you want to. So watch this video next where we reveal what that's all about.